is the icing. There you go. Nice Today. healthy glow. Wait a minute, that wasn't enough. <laughs> just just to get it almost massaged in. What is it going to smell like once it combines with my body chemistry? You feel me? That's what we need to get at. That's the I part I give this a solid. Nine. During the holidays, favorite treat outside of cookies are vanilla cupcakes. Wanna well, know my favorite part? It's the icing. Today, we shall discuss OGX's Shea Soft and Smooth Lotion in the decadent aroma scent that smells just like the icing on those nice plush vanilla cupcakes. Let's get into the basics. So we have OGX's Shea Soft and Smooth Lotion. A lotion, behold, that smells like vanilla icing, buttercream vanilla icing, or cream cheese vanilla icing. It smells a little bit like both at times, but it smells magically delicious. Now don't confuse this with the body wash. Body wash, that's a different story smells just as delicious in fact if you want to really strengthen the scent you layer both i just recently started getting into it just here and there and here and there and then fall is here and i'm like this the perfect timing for it actually the smell here it smells a bit artificial as far as a vanilla scent first you get an artificial smell that's what i'm getting it smell like it's just they dumped a whole bottle of vanilla extract in it imitation i'm going somewhere with this okay just as you get past smelling that part of it is when you smell the fluffy creamy icing portion of it it's right towards the end just when you stop smelling it like artificial stop smelling light fluffy creamy vanilla icing just as you stop smelling it it's like it releases that creamy buttercream cream cheese frosting vanilla and, and we're gonna do a guap for this now as you can see the texture and consistency is runny definitely and this is more opaque kind of see-through now the thing i want you to understand with this is this is not a pearlescent type of lotion in terms of color and dare i say viscosity all of that it, it's just kind of opaque it's kind of a sheer kind of lotion now when you start getting into your skin it starts to get a bit greasy there but it absorbs very quickly. And there you go. Nice, healthy glow. Wait a minute, that wasn't enough. <laughs> now, but it just seems to have a very healthy, but moderate, just enough consistency here where you can work it into your skin, but then it's also greasy to a point. And so as I've been using this, what I've been noticing is that it takes a while. You, you saw that? It took me a while to work this into my skin to get it to absorb. So, for example, perfect example. If you use a guap of this, get ready to do some more work to work this into your skin so you can get a healthy glow. So th this is your standard lotion consistency. It's just, you know, a, a little bit upscale. see right here you're seeing the the lotion marks and everything that's residue letting you know you got more work to do <laughs> you definitely have more work to do and I'm, I'm just stopping to show you each time those lotion marks those residue now one thing I do straight out of the shower as I've started to use this a bit more often 
is when I see those lotion marks, there they go again. I get to a certain point, if I get too tired to massage into my skin, and then I notice it's not, it's just not absorbing, period. Then I only go so far, and then I let, after I get dressed, I let nature take its place so it can air dry. Now, as you're working this through your skin, that scent does kind of, that imitation vanilla extract scent does kind of fade a little bit. It, it begins to soften, if you will. And I think that has a whole lot to do with just that, that buttery cream factor. Because it's not just the vanilla extract the imitation that what it smells like is in there. That's not the only note. Coming across those lotion marks. You just let it air dry. Don't get aggravated and be like, man, it's been five minutes and it hasn't absorbed. Go so far, maybe five minutes, and then don't do anything else. Let it air dry. And you shouldn't have any residue. I haven't had any. So with all the properties here, all the features of this OGX Shea Soft and Smooth Lotion, we're going to slide on another layer because it's been a couple of hours and see how this performs in one hour. <laughs> just just to get it almost massaged in and there's a lotion mark there exactly an hour later i really like how how the progression of this lotion has performed on my skin even now continuously so first 20 minutes i'm noticing that the imitation vanilla, the, the vanilla extract smell that smells very strong, pungent. You know, you smell it too much, your nose about to burn, similar to lavender. And I'm noticing within the first 20 minutes that died down and that, that sweet icing smell came out to play. It's kind of a two-dimensional lotion i like when a body care product is two dimensional two dimensional meaning it smells one way out of the bottle as you get to use it for whatever purpose that it's intended for and then afterwards it dries down into your skin and you give it 20 minutes 30 minutes an hour a couple hours or a whole day whatever that looks like for you according to your schedule and so forth then you begin to see it transform into the other notes that it was combined with whatever else it was formulated with then you really get to see the true essence of what it was made of a lot of times body care products smell one way out, out of the bottle but how it smells out of the bottle before you even get to use it for whatever purpose it's intended for it doesn't even do it justice which is why you need to give it a chance and if you're not sure you're not ready for full size or 50 percent more free than the normal size see if there's a trial size or a smaller size if you have a friend that has a bottle and they 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 just got into the bottle and maybe they have those empty stationary travel bottles that are see-through and then they they will siphon off some of that lotion into the one ounce clear bottles y'all know what i'm talking about you can find them at dollar tree and walmart and target and select stores you sample it off like that because once you get into the dry down of a product once it's gotten into your skin this doesn't just apply to lotion body wash scrubs what you want to watch for is what is it going to smell like once it combines with my body chemistry you feel me that's what we need to get at
That's the part I like. Like it smells saccharine sweet, but not to a point where it's like making me nauseous just to smell it. Like it's bearable and it smells like it's very, very sweet, like vanilla. Like, like it's just very sugary. It's just enough. And, and that imitation vanilla, that vanilla extract smell straight out of the bottle is just, that was a top note. It's almost as if this lotion was formulated in the exact way that perfumes are formulated. Top notes, middle notes, base notes. Base notes are the first notes they start with before they do anything else. Middle notes, they add those right after. Top notes, they add those last. So I feel like the, the vanilla extract, the imitation vanilla extract smell out of the bottle is the top note. Then there's shea in here, shea butter. I believe that's the middle note. And then, then that decadent aroma that smells like vanilla icing, that's the base note. That's when everything else has dried down and you've worked into your skin. This is what you get. And yes, the, the strength of the scent has died down. But it's mainly the vanilla extract smell that died down the most. Now you're left with that, that calming vanilla icing scent on the skin. Which is really nice because you're not overdoing it. And then if you want to, it's ready to receive... With my skin still feeling and looking moisturized, it's ready to receive your fragrance at that point. Now, me personally, I'm not going to wait an hour for the lotion to dry down in order to miss anything over it. But if you want to, chances are it's still going to be there for you. However, this is the only thing I put on. Here are my honest final thoughts. I love the smell. However, I do wish it did not smell from the jump like imitation vanilla extract that's no shade absolutely no shade i do wish that but what makes up for it is this beautiful veil of vanilla icing that dry, the dry down is what makes up for it you can hold on for 20 minutes after you apply it and allow it to get into your skin and start to mingle with your body chemistry and Ride that out for an hour and the rest of the day you wear it, you'll do well. I give this a solid nine and a half. That that vanilla extract smell took point half a point off. But it's still awesome. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my review of OGX's Shea Soft and Smooth Decadent Aroma Lotion. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>